on you. We're at the World Games 2017 in the city of Wroclaw, Poland. Unfortunately, you've played in your first match. Um, you lost 3-2 against former professional Michael Judge, but you did really well to come back from 2-0 behind. How did you see the match? Um, actually, Michael I have known for a long time because he will usually be around in the IBSF playing the men while I play the ladies. And his Paul, his sister Paula, uh, I have played a lot with on the ladies tournaments. So I basically knew that this will be a tough match before coming. And I didn't expect much and I only want to play a good games. I was a little nervous in to start with because I um, didn't want to travel so long to lose three new again and also um, losing in the mixed gender match. So, but unfortunately, um, the match start off zero two, and I guess that actually took the pressure off, and I start to play a little better. It's the first time here at the World Games that snooker has been held as a mixed gender competition. You were here, Belgium's Wendy Jans was here. How important is that for the future development of women's snooker to have the mixed gender competition? Um, it's very important as I believe uh, the main one of the difference between men and the ladies snooker is the match opportunity and I believe there are yeah and I think the standard for the men is generally higher and it's more competitive. I still remember my very first game playing with James Watana in the exhibition. Compared to different matches I play now, I think the game can only get better with enough practice with such environment. And what is it that you can learn from playing against the, um, the, the men? Mm, the ability to score and consistency are definitely higher, meaning there is less room to make mistakes as one mistake has, can cause the game. So, um, and I also realize uh, there is some differences in part of the shot selections and risk assessment for going for a long pot in, or it's also different. And just coming back here to the World Games, obviously this is the event for sports looking to get into the Olympic Games. How exciting would it be for you to one day compete for a gold medal as a snooker player in the Olympic Games? Um, I think we have seen developments with the latest game with more entries and spread to Asia and expanding to the WDBS, World Disabilities Billiard and Snookers and also more varieties like 6 rest, 10 rest. So I don't see why snooker cannot be entered as an Olympic game as I, o I have always been looking forward to this since last Asian Games in 2010. And finally, you're going to be back in action on the World Women's Snooker Tour soon. In August, we head to Germany for the Paul Hunter Women's Classic, a tournament which, of course, you won last year. How much are you looking forward to going back? Mm, I remember there is a lot of great food and nice people and also excellent venue and the atmosphere. So uh, also, last year was a great mix of the players joining I, that I sometimes see in the IBSF and WLBS. So... I'm looking forward to a reunion and most importantly is to have fun. <laughs> and I also think um, uh, confidence is very important for the player, but uh, most importantly is to just trying to enjoy the game and hopefully the result will take care of itself. That's great. We look forward to seeing you there. Okay, see you. Thank you.